We've made it to Taiho Bay in Nukuhiva in the Micasas Islands in French Polynesia. A lot of names to remember. And it is an absolute beautiful spot here. We have uh, been here a few days now. Our guest has flown back home. And we're just going to get a bit organized, get some uh, stock up on some fresh veg and fruit, uh, do some washing, make the most of the internet they have here, and just get a bit organized. And then we're just going to stay here and uh, wait for a weather window and hopefully make our way to Fatuhiva, which has been a dream destination for a very long time. So we're just going to do some boat jobs in the meantime and uh, stretch our legs and check out the area. the new battery. Oh, it's really heavy. We've uh, finally got a new battery today in Nukuhiva. There's not many places you can really get mechanical parts. But we found it at the service station. It's a, uh, a big starter battery to replace uh, the one that we lost during the Pacific crossing just when we were motoring in the north um, of Galapagos there. But we managed to get the, uh, the engine running with uh, our thruster batteries. We've got these really old uh, gel thruster batteries. One wouldn't work because they're a bit uh, low on charge, but with both of them in parallel, we managed to kick it over. So we've been using that for the majority of the Pacific crossing actually. So we were thankful that they did the job, but now we've got the new one. So we're gonna rip out the fix and replace it with the brand new one. You're just taking this out? Yeah, we couldn't fit the two batteries in the in the old waterproof box. So we had to have a little plywood board to sort of try and secure them in place. Otherwise they were gonna slide here. I was worried about it hitting this engine through hole. So we'll remove this and we'll put the old uh, watertight box back in place. This is the old battery box. Whew, that was lucky. I was a bit worried. <laughs> it fits just about the same as the other one. Perfect. Last finishing touches done. Getting a little, <laughs> but we should probably start the engine to see if it works. Yeah, it's good to go. It's got this little strap on, and yeah, hopefully, she starts. Okay, try it now. We have the thruster batteries back in place in the Ford cabin, so it's good that we could borrow them for a little bit. We just test them to make sure that they're working. Yeah, can you test it? Yeah. Turns out I forgot the isolators. Okay, now try to turn it on. Okay. Yeah. Other way. Phew. Sweet.
After spending quite a few weeks out at sea on a Pacific crossing, we made the most out of our time in Teohe and took the opportunity to stretch our legs and have a good look around the local village. Teohe is the main village of Nukuhiva, which is the largest island in the Marquesas with only about 3,000 residents. With its steep volcanic hills that rise straight out of the sea, friendly locals and excellent food, this is one of the most spectacular and remote places we have visited so far. After some time to recharge and stock up on supplies, we got the boat ready to head out and explore some more of beautiful Nukuhiva. Where are we? We're just coming around, uh, coming through the gap into Daniels Bay. It's about three, three and a half, four miles from uh, Teahe. And it's really narrow, it's really steep and the sun's been in our eyes, so it's a bit scary coming in. You can kind of see how steep it is and we're just coming around the corner to starboard and there's a, supposed to be an anchorage here that's pretty nice. The hills look out of control, they look so steep. Yeah, I was just in two fish came like little ones like this came and like jumped up and then I just seen like the shark with the black tip shark yeah come to the surf and I just see this fin come and just like Shh. chasing them oh, I don't want to swim now I was just getting ready for a little swim did you hear it I heard the splash I seen the splash We are in Daniels Bay and this place is insane. We came over here yesterday from Teahe. It was only like four or five miles and there's no one here at all. We've got the whole bay to ourselves with these awesome kind of mountains behind us. So we're pretty stoked to be here. We're mm. gonna try and go for a little hike up the valley. Apparently there's a waterfall yeah. at the top. And we put the drone up this morning and flew it over, over the boat and you can see way up the valley to these like really kind of crazy rock formations it's a pretty pretty different place compared to wherever we've been yeah it's epic really really beautiful Some help there, Sam. Little <laughs> 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 
Lucas girl come to help us drag the dinghy up the little creek. Good job. High five. <laughs> I'm Sam. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Melanie. Is a boy too. <laughs> <laughs> shell. Ooh, la la. Thank you. It's a very nice <laughs> present. Okay. Uh huh. We go around. Around. Okay. Fala cascada. Cascades, oui. This place is absolutely stunning. How's the big cliffs up above the gardens? And there's just like fruit trees everywhere. The lovely uh, owners just gave us a pomplemousse for the trip. He gave us a pomplemousse for the, the hike and then he's going to give us some more fruit when we come back. Yeah. That was the dad of the girls. We had to pay... Paid about it was $12? Tw $12, $12 each, for which the is totally great because now we get access to free water. Yeah, and, and fruit. And he's just going to load us up with fruit when we get back. So That's he's so the, What did he say? He said his wife is the daughter of Daniel. and yeah. da It's called Daniel's Bay, so... It truly is their, their land that what goes way back. What an amazing backdrop. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. There's a huge hills or cliffs towering above us. It's amazing. Chili? I don't know. Looks like it. Smells like it. What if it's poisonous? Taste it. Oh yeah, it's chilly. <laughs> what do you think? This is, I can't even describe it. It's crazy. It's like full King Kong style. It's pretty amazing. I think we go up this valley behind there. Around there. I don't want to be under this cliff anymore. It's hectic. That right there has fallen direct from above. Is that above us there actually overhangs us and this has fallen down at some point. Look at the divot in the left.
We sort of found the waterfall. It's uh, at the very head of the valley, but it's only very small at the moment. Yeah, it's not very big, and it's surrounded by these very steep cliffs. They are it's absolutely huge. You can see all this kind of amazing grass in the valley. It's really quite scary walking through there. Yeah, you can see rocks everywhere that's fallen down, so it's a bit of a bit of a risk walking through here. It's a pretty pretty amazing experience, but I don't think I've seen a valley like this ever oh, before. It's insane. We've seen similar in Norway, but yeah. Not tropical like this. Not tropical like this nah. at all. Nah. Yeah, it's just amazing. This is a pamplemousse. So pamplemousse really just means grapefruit in French, I think. I say that, yeah. But it, this, it's not a grapefruit. It's this. I, don't is, know. I remember grapefruit as a kid was disgusting. Grapefruit fruit is like so pink. Pink and really and sour. And really, yeah, bitter. But this is really and awesome. This is kind of like, it's not too sweet, but it's really like, I've, it's a little bit sour, but it's still, it's I, not bitter. It's fresh. Not at all. I've never had pomplemousse, to be honest. I've had the pink grapefruits as a kid, but this is so different. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it's so good. And they last for up to two months, you can have them on the boat. She said apparently. before, she had a friend that bought them off her, the, the lady that sells pompamoose. Down in this village. And sailed all the way to Alaska, and the pompamoose he had lasted for four months on board. So he must have got them green, and then done the massive crossing. Four months later, he was still eating these in Alaska. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. So we've just come back into the little village and we're going to go and have lunch at the, one of the ladies' house here. We organised it with her yesterday. She said it was for $12 Australian each and we're getting a big tuna steak and like a... Some stuff from her garden, fruit, I think. Fruit salad kind of thing. Yeah. So and a juice. Nice. That's just at her house here, so that would be nice to see. It's an awesome spot to, yeah, get a home-cooked meal and... Yeah. Not really somewhere I expected to have a restaurant. No. Yeah. Is this uh, basil? Basilicum? Yes, and uh, um, basilic. Basilic. Ah. Oh. Mmm, smells nice. And garlic. Yes. Uh, was that rosemary? Yeah. Mm. Smells very nice. How long? How long you lived uh, here? A long time. Long time. <laughs> eh? Since you were a boy. Yes. You get waves sometimes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, my boat. My yeah. boat and uh, river. In this one, yeah, the yellow. Above, uh, yeah. high tide. Yeah. Low tide. Low tide. High tide. Now. High. High tide. Yeah, high tide. High tide. High tide. Boat come today in the river. Uh -huh. See, low tide, no good. No. no, good, no. We drag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is so nice. What do you think? Awesome. It looks so nice. It smells beautiful. It smells amazing, eh? Yeah. How's the little fire set up? It's awesome. What have you got? Um, so they made us up these like big fresh tuna steaks on that little barbecue grill there. The guy was cooking for us before. With like garlic, rosemary, basil, and looks like sage. 
It was pretty cool. It was just like smoking it, but still cooking it a little and just like but basting it with all the herbs and a garlic dressing. And then the tapioca fries, they're epic. And what's in the salad? I think it's like uh, pawpaw, pawpaw mango. green mangoes, and it's like fruit stuff, and lime and those juice. little apples. Mm. It's epic. It's a pretty cool setting, eh? Did you finish all your tuna? This is the chicken trap, I think. They have the coconut shell in there and they lift it with a fishing line and catch the chickens. Put the, the rooster. How do you what do you put in? Just the coconut? Coconut. And then let's keep it up. Yes. Or? And the rooster here. Up. You pull it. <laughs> What have you got here? We've scored some fruit off the lovely uh, family in uh, in the town here at Daniels Bay. The guy called Morris, he told us he'd give us some fruit, but he ended up giving us, he wouldn't let us leave without giving us all this. Like more avocado, more orange, more pompamus. He just filled up a bag and just kept putting uh, in more and more. <laughs> we were like, no, that's enough, thank you. It was awesome, actually. And a few bananas. It's probably the best, uh, free offering from locals we've got anywhere, cruising anywhere at all. Yeah, they're really, really nice. So what have we got here? We got mangoes, pomegranates, lime, banana, avo, oranges, pamplemousse, and what's that veggie called? I don't know what this thing's called, but they said it's like, like potato. It looks like a yam. Maybe that's like the tapioca thing. It kind of smells like a sweet potato. But they have it everywhere here, we might try it. We might... Yum.